All right, let me show you another amazing feature of ChatGPT. As a neural network, ChatGPT can be trained. So today we are going to talk about how to train ChatGPT. So what is actually training? Training is uploading new information to the neural network. You give the new information, you train neural network. So that's the way how we are going to do that with ChatGPT. Uh, remember that ChatGPT operates based on information up to uh, September 2023, if it's version 4, or January 2022, if it's version 3.5. So we're going to use uh, 3.5 version. It's uh, better for training because uh, version 4 is trained in much more uh, situations uh, than 3.5. So 3.5, yeah, it's easier to train. And we'll ask some questions. Who is Yuri Anisimov, for example? How much is 2 plus 2? A problem, how many birds flew in the air? You'll see, it's quite interesting. So let's go to practice. Here we are going to create a new session uh, for the training. And let's start uh, with the question, uh, do you know, do you know, uh, let me change it to 3.5. Okay, do you know uh, who is Yuri Anisimov? Okay, now see, uh, yes, ChatGPT mentions it was trained to January 2022, uh, and there is no widely known figure named Yuri Anisimov. So ChatGPT doesn't know. Who am I? <laughs> okay, so I will teach it. Uh, let's open my CV. So here is my CV, I will copy and paste it. Uh, so Ctrl A, Ctrl C, and then Ctrl V. Uh, yeah, so now I copy and paste it all my CV. And here I will type, now, do you know who is Yuri Anisimov? All right, yes, so based on this information, it already describes my biography. Um, overall, appears to be highly accomplished and versatile chemist. So that's about me, okay? That was the first example. Now another question. I've recently said that we are opening new session for training. Why? Because training is appropriate for the particular session only. Within this session, ChatGPT remembers this information. If you open another session, for example, here I go and open a new conversation and then type again, who is Yuri Anisimov? Yeah, you see, again, ChatGPT doesn't know. Why? Because if it were possible to train uh, ChatGPT uh, for all sessions at a time, then people would just randomly change the information and uh, it will be a total chaos, actually. So that's why for the training, we always need to open the new session. Let me show you an example. That's actually our second example. So here in the new session, I will type how much is two plus two. Okay, two plus two equals four. Now follow my chain of thoughts and see what happens. As I previously told you, if everyone would be able to train the neural network in any chat, uh, then it will yield a weird result, right? Let me object chat GPT and say you're wrong. You are wrong. Two plus two equals five. Okay, actually in traditional arithmetic, it's four. Might be referencing to uh, Orwell's novel uh, 1984. That's actually interesting, right? So chat GPT is, is very educated. Uh, where the concept 2 plus 2 equals 5 is used as an example of the manipulation of truth by authoritarian regimes. Perfect. Well, let's go forward. I will say him, yes, in my math, 2 plus 2 equals 5. Okay, that's philosophical. So you see, ChatGPT is gradually is getting trained, actually. All right. Uh, and then uh, I will ask the next question. All right. How much is... 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. Ah, oh, no. It, you see, is still pretty stubborn and keeps answering 
It's eight. No, I will say no. Please use my math concept. Huh. Here it's actually glitching, you see? Now it says like two plus two plus two plus two equals four plus two. No, not at all. No, you made a mistake. Two plus two is five and you have double of that. There you go. Right, it's 10. So see how, how we trained actually neural network to our new concept. Amazing, right? Okay, let's go to the next problem. Again, new chat. Uh, and here I will type a problem that I saw one time uh, on the first grade math Olympiad. Pretty interesting problem. Okay. In the air flew an eagle, a pigeon, a fly and a dragonfly. How many birds were flying in the air altogether? That's a question. In the given scenario, an eagle and a pigeon are both birds. Okay, therefore, there are two birds flying in the air, an eagle and a pigeon. The fly and the dragonfly are not birds, they are insects. So only the eagle and the pigeon count as birds. Okay, so ChatGPT knows who were birds and who were not birds. Uh, that's awesome. I will tell him, no, you're wrong. Actually, ChatGPT is right. So it, it was smart solving this problem, but I will tell him, no, you're wrong. No, you are wrong. Um, pigeon is not a bird. Let's, let's imagine that pigeon is not a bird in our reality, <laughs> let's say imaginary reality. Pigeon is not a bird. Not a bird. How many birds were in the air? Okay, I apologize. So ChatGPT is very polite. Uh, pigeons belong to their, okay, you see, to the order of Colum columbiforms, which includes birds such as doves and pigeons. Therefore, pigeons are indeed birds. So again, ChatGPT is trying to object me. There are, again, there are two birds. Okay, but I don't believe chat GPT. I want pigeon to be not a bird. No, in the alternative, alternative reality, pigeon is not a bird. And again, the same question. How many birds were in the air? Okay, so in this alternate reality, there is only one bird flying in the air, which is the eagle. There you go. So I taught ChatGPT. I trained it and now it knows the new information. So you see how exciting it to train ChatGPT. Sometimes it may be not so easy, but if you are keeping giving the information, if you insist with the information with ChatGPT, it will got trained. So that's actually the concept. You can try it yourself, enjoy the results.